my dear students you know that the question paper for pathway courses in first semester ug courses will be in objective mode the question paper may contain multiple choice questions one word phrase answer questions true or false questions or match the following questions so in order to make you well versed with the content i am providing the information in the form of points if you learn these points you can answer any type of question in this particular paper now let us take c1 course that is introduction to classical biology and let us prepare some fundamental points that can be asked in any form father of modern taxonomy is carlos linnaeus taxonomy is the science of classification giving two names to organisms is called binomial nomenclature binomial nomenclature was popularized by carlos linnaeus father of zoology is aristotle the term biology was coined by lamarck number of obligatory taxa in the classification is 7 that is nothing but animal kingdom phylum class order family genus and species number of obligatory taxa in the classification is 7 lowest tax of classification is a species trinomial nomenclature includes the names of genus species and subspecies and basing on this points or based on these points some more types of questions may be asked for example in this obligatory taxa sometimes the question may be asked regarding the hierarchy of classification and like that the species concept and genus concept may also be highlighted in some other mode of question ICJN stands for International Code of Geological Nomenclature ICBN stands for International Code of Botanical Nomenclature if both the genus and species names are one and the same such name is called tautonym genus name should be a noun always and it should start with a capital letter species name is adjective and it should be written in small letters species form a mendelian population the concept of mendelian population was popularized by dobjonsky cladogram is a diagram that represents the evolutionary relationship among species taxonomic rank that comes after class is order man belongs to the class mammalia apes gorillas chimpanzees and man belong to the order primates species form a morphological unit ecosystem is the structural and functional unit of ecology source of energy for any natural ecosystem is sun aquarium is the best example of artificial ecosystem laws of thermodynamics operate in the ecosystem energy can neither be created nor destroyed one form of energy can be converted into another form of energy ecosystem consists of both abiotic and biotic factors abiotic factors are of two types namely physical and chemical temperature and light are the examples of physical abiotic factors producers consumers and decomposers are biotic factors producers are plants and these are autotrophs and you know very well that autotrophs are the organisms which can synthesize their own food materials plants produce starch by fixing light energy and this is called photosynthesis 
Detritus is the organic matter present in the dead organisms. Detritivores feed on detritus. That means they eat detritus. There are three types of food chains. They are grazing, parasitic and detritus food chains. Grazing food chain starts with grazing animal. Every level in food chain is called trophic level. Herbivores are primary consumers. Secondary and tertiary consumers are carnivores. Ecological pyramids are designed by Charles Elton. There are three types of ecological pyramids basically. They are pyramid of numbers, pyramid of biomass and pyramid of energy. CBD stands for Convention on Biological Diversity. Sparrow is a primary consumer while feeding on grains and secondary consumer while feeding on insects. The term ecology was coined by Ernest Haeckel. The term ecosystem was coined by Tansley. Natural ecosystems are always self-sustaining. Minimum 10% of energy is wasted at every trophic level. My dear students, I have discussed nearly 50 points. Based on these 50 points, you can prepare either multiple choice type of questions, match the following type of questions, true or false questions, or one word phrase questions. So, this type of approach to this paper is useful for you to improve your chances of success. I will be discussing some more bits from Unit 1 in my next video. Like that, let us try to complete all the units in course 1 that is Introduction to Classical Biology. Thank you very much.